For the first time, we are seeing the horror inside a Tennessee Waffle House when a gunman unleashed a rampage in 2018. The video played at his trial, revealing the chaos as bullets shattered glass and sent diners scrambling to find safety. He was just yelling my name. He was um, just telling me he was in pain. Four people, all in their 20s, were killed, including a Beatty Da Silva's brother. He was saying he couldn't breathe. He kept looking at me and telling me he couldn't breathe. Prosecutors say 32-year-old Travis Reinking showed up with the intent to kill, naked from the waist down, firing more than two dozen bullets from this AR-15. He was determined. Like, he knew what he was doing and what he planned to do. Um, and I'm sure my eyes looked like I was begging for mercy without saying anything. Uh, and he shot me anyway. Security video captured the moments customer James Shaw heroically stopped the killing, confronting the gunman, wrestling the weapon away, even getting burned by the gun's barrel before throwing it over the counter. I take him and I'm kind of choking him with my left hand and I push him and I push him out the way. I take my left hand off of him and I'm just pulling up, pulling up, pulling up and I finally get the gun and I throw it. As the gun lay on the floor, you can see two employees hiding behind the counter. While Shaw finally fought off the gunman, Ryan King has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. Mr. Ryan King's actions that night, they were a direct result of the delusions he was suffering because of his schizophrenia. Jurors are expected to hear from more than 60 witnesses at this trial. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.